do my um, my eyebrows. I already have one done and I just wanted to show you what it looks like without and with. Kind of a big difference, right? Um, so I'm gonna use our Precision Brow Liner. This is the color medium. We have light, medium, and dark. Um, I'm fair skin, but I have um, a little bit of darker hair. So I like to use the medium. Um, it has a spoolie end on one and a super fine tip on the other. This will help mimic your fine um, brow hairs. So first I'm just going to brush up, get all those hairs up, and then I'm gonna start on the bottom. I'm gonna do small strokes outwards. I like to stay pretty close to my where my hairs are just to give it more of it natural. And then I'll just start filling in. I have some areas that are very sparse due to over plucking. Okay, and then I'm br I'll brush down and do the top. And once I'm done with that, I'll brush it out. And one good tip about if you're not sure where your brow should be at, um, just take your brow liner, line it up with the edge of your nose, and go up. That's where your brow should start. For the corner, you should line it up with your nose, the middle of your pupil, and then for the end, side of the nose, side of your eye, that's where it should end. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my brow gel. It has a really cute wand, tiny wand on the end. This is also the color medium. I'm gonna start at the bottom. Go against the hairs. There's fibers in this gel, just like our 3D mascara, and those are going to help your brows appear full. Then I'll just brush it back. This gel also helps keep those brows in place all day. It's also waterproof. So in those summer months when you're sweating a lot, this will help keep your brows in place. And that's it. Just these two products.